Bought this car 18 years ago, pretty much did everything myself on it. It's his first project car. We've taken it on as a Rod Authority project, 54 Chevy Bel Air. The small block I previously put in here is now pretty much tired, it's done, it's been blowing out some blue smoke, it's not really putting any power to the wheels, so I wanted to take a look at what my options were. We're going to take a short block and Edelbrock now offers a do-it-yourself crate engine option. When it came to picking an engine, I really wanted to do something that I could build it myself, uh, wanted something that had proven horsepower. I chose the Performer RPM E-Tech 435 kit, which Edelbrock says is a proven 435 horsepower with 435 foot-pounds of torque. I like the idea of this Edelbrock do-it-yourself kit because it comes with pretty much everything you need. It takes all the guesswork out of the equation of picking your own heads, picking your own manifold. It includes everything right down to the break-in oil. Heads, valve train, intake, carburetor, cam, roller assembly. I mean, really everything is here. If you already have a, a healthy short block, you can basically build your own crate motor without having to buy an actual crate motor. This is a, a Blueprint 383. Uh, short block, forged rotating assembly, forged pistons. They use this in their crate motors. Uh, we ordered just the short block itself. Test this fit, make sure it's on there correctly. Okay, I'm gonna let go. Yep. The gasket's down, the sealant's down. We're putting the pan on so we can seal up the bottom end so then we can rotate it over and start getting the top end together. So I'm gonna lay a little, a little bit of silicone around each water jacket. Mike's gonna come in after me and spread it around so that no water can seep into the gasket itself. One of the reasons I chose this kit is the Edelbrock E-Tech heads that are included in it. These heads are an improved version of the cast iron GM Vortec heads and with a larger intake runner actually flow about 20% better. Well, we've got the Edelbrock air gap intake, so essentially what that does is it raises the runners off the valley, so you get, a, you get an air flow through it, so it gives you a little bit more cooler, denser charge on your fuel and air, so that way you get a little bit more power. We're dropping the last piece of the puzzle in, dropping the distributor down. So what's left? We just got to get this engine between the frame rails? Yeah, just got to bolt it up to the transmission and uh, put it on the cherry picker and away we go. So we just want to make sure it drops in the center of those motor mounts. Yeah. All right, are we ready? Yeah. All right, come to the right. It's the angle. It just needs to come down more. And we are in. All right, we're bolting the carb on. Yep, let's get it on there. All right, it's been an awesome day. We got everything dialed. We're just getting ready to add the final touches. Yeah, I just gotta put the uh, braking oil in here now and we'll run this for about 300 miles. Uh, essentially, this just has extra zinc in it so it helps the uh, camshaft and everything seat correctly. All right, so exhaust manifolds are on, exhaust is hooked up. I think uh, we're pretty much ready to just put the air cleaner on and go.
Putting this engine together was a real breeze. The instruction manual was just perfect. It basically made everything step-by-step step easy to do. It went together um, within a day, fired it right up, pulled it out of the driveway, and away we went.